So you might be seeing this trendy practice called ear seeding on ClassPass, on YouTube, or maybe in this little news article that I found on Apple News. Now in this video, as a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine, I'm gonna share why I don't do ear seeds and I will never do ear seeds. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, doctor of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book, Master the Day. Now, before we jump into this video on ear seeds, I've put together two very important links right below the video. The first is for a free guide, which is four daily rituals that could potentially help you add years to your life with Chinese medicine. And the second is if you'd like to have more info on becoming a patient of mine in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine, there's a link right below to contact my practice and my clinic. So let's talk about the theory behind ear seeds. I had someone speak to me recently because she knew I'm a doctor of Chinese medicine. And she said, hey, I'm a subscriber to ClassPass and I noticed there's a package deal for 24 karat gold ear seeds. Uh, do you know what that is or what it really does? So she told me that she got it because she was experiencing anxiety and was curious to see if it could help. Now, I know I live in Los Angeles, which is trendy BS capital of the world. And I know that everyone is trying to make a buck and everyone's trying to survive. But ear seeds are basically based on using a microsystem of auricular acupuncture, which is a modern form of Chinese medicine, by the way, a modern form of acupuncture, I think in the last 50 or 75 years or so. And basically there are microsystems in the ear that you can needle or put these ear seeds on that will then stimulate the function of those organs. So it is common to do smaller acupuncture needles to do auricular acupuncture for certain conditions. But more recently, I wanted to talk about this idea of these specifically 24 karat gold ear seeds because that seems to be the trend here in Los Angeles. And I think there are things a lot more effective for, for example, anxiety, which is most often what I hear people going in for. So quick recap, ear seeding is based on auricular acupuncture. There's a microsystem in the ears and you, utilizing seeds, I think one of them is mustard seed, and then you place them and stick them onto the point, usually with a little uh, adhesive bandage that sticks it on there, okay? Now, I have a lot to say about this. So first of all, everything is about stages and grades of intervention, right? If someone comes in with clinical anxiety, anxiety to the point where they're on antidepressants, anxiety to the point where they're taking benzodiazepines, like they're taking Xanax as needed, this is pretty significant clinical anxiety. And in my experience, treating really, really sick people and getting a lot of people off antidepressants, including multiple antidepressants, moderate high dose antidepressants, antidepressants for 10 years, you're probably not gonna do that with ear seeds. Even acupuncture, frankly, a skilled acupuncturist would get way more clinical results for anxiety. But in my experience, the king and queen of that are Chinese herbal formulas to be able to get people off of, for example, antidepressants. So my only beef with ear seeds is not that they can't help or not that they can't do something to benefit people, but that people are falling maybe prey to a trendy, somewhat helpful practice when there are things that are much more valuable and much more helpful within the same profession of Chinese medicine, acupuncture and formulas. And I thought I would share something to give a case study on how just clinically how effective these classical formulas can be. So I've treated a lot of clinical depression and clinical anxiety in my practice. And look, I live in 2022, I also live in Los Angeles, a lot of people are on antidepressants of some kind. I mean, it is an epidemic, I am certain it is only increasing. And one patient of mine that I'd seen that I'm the most proud of, had spent more than a decade on multiple antidepressants at a relatively moderate to high dose. Uh, so depressed and so anxious that was only able to work in bed, had a remote job so that all she had to do was get up, not even take a shower and work remotely that way because that's all she was able to do for about a decade. And that was with the help of those antidepressants that were helping her. Now, after utilizing these formulas for about a month, she began to notice a big increase in energy and digestion getting much better. Acid reflux going away, um, was able to take a shower regularly, was able to get out and walk dogs, uh, which were formerly very, very difficult tasks for her. They were some of the most significant things she had to do all day and they were not easy. After about three months, she began to start a little business that she had been bouncing around the back of her head. You know, it was in the back of her mind for a while. And after about six months, she began to 
go for walks and begin exercising and was even working from other locations. Um, and then after about seven months, she decided that, you know, for years and years and years and years, she'd been debating this move and had eventually gotten to the point where she was able to put her house on the market and move to somewhere she had always wanted to move. That kind of thing, in my experience, is mostly not possible on ear seeds. That's something you need high dose internal medicine, Chinese formulas, they're working on the exact same physiological pathways, same neurotransmitters, and that's something that you need real internal medicine for. And it's not gonna be something as simple as sticking on some ear seeds and voila, my clinical anxiety or clinical depression is gone. I think they can still help, but whenever I see people falling prey to some kind of fad, especially because someone is trying to make a buck, they're probably selling ear seed kits, no surprise there, but when there's something that someone really needs medical help for and they're going for something that could not help them as much as something else, that's why I wanted to speak up about it. I think they can help, but in my experience, Chinese formulas are gonna be 100 times more effective for clinical anxiety and clinical depression and most general internal medicine. So that's just my two cents, specifically about alternative medicine trends or maybe they're not even alternative medicine, but they're kind of, I guess, wellness trends in Los Angeles. I always wanna speak up about them. So my two cents on ear seeds. Before you guys go, check out those other related links right below the video for the free guide, four daily rituals that can potentially help you add years to your life. And I'll see you guys soon.